Hello, everybody. Good evening. Okay, for Johnny. Good evening, teacher. 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 Very happy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining. It's time to storm. And thank you for, for, being, for being patient. Uh, well, this is class number six. I want to ask attendance before the storm. Please, as soon as you listen to your name, click present, please. Dr. Mokar. Dr. Mokar. Present. Thank you. Maria Veronica. Maria Veronica Dora. Nancy Castillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Alexis Flores. Present. Thanks. Ana Maria. Maria Wilson. Creo que tiene un micrófono por but I can see you, no problem. Present teacher, I see. Oh, yes, oh, yes. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ana Jeanette? Ana Jeanette? Can you say? Present teacher. Thanks. William Ernesto? Present. Here, Daniel Jeremias? Jeremias, Ruth Elizabeth, present teacher, here, Milagro, present teacher, thanks, please make present teacher, Walter Alfredo, Walter Alfredo, present teacher, thank you, Jose Bismar, present teacher, Thank you. Okay. Very smart. Sonia Maldonado. Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm in Humberto. Present. You, Son Mayanera. Son Mayanera. Familiares. Gloria Elisel. Present. Okay. Eddie Isbet. Present teacher. Perfect. Victor Adonai. Victor Adonai. Well, I can see you. Appreciate it. Gilma Elizabeth. Gilma, yeah. Present teacher. Thanks. Jocelyn Bonilla. Jocelyn Bonilla. Thank you. Very good. Eddie, can you send it? Present. Thank you. Vilma Tatiana. Vilma Tatiana. Verónica Milagro. Verónica Milagro. Gerardo Chinchilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Marisol. Erika. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Here, Carolina Marquez. Carolina Marquez. Okay. Well, you know me, Sonia. You can give me. Me? Turma, right? No. Edith, sorry, Edith. Okay, I can see Edith, I can see Zulma. I can see Daniel Jeremias. Who else? Alguien que no ha mencionado? Acaba de venir? Creo que ya son todos. Un momento. Ok. Well, everybody, welcome. Welcome again. It's nice meeting you. This is class number six. Good evening. 
I hope you're fine. Thank you for, yeah, for being here. We're going to start with the session in a second. Okay, this is class number six. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Victor and Nani Jeremias. You are in my list. Okay, this is class number six. Welcome, everybody. Today is Thursday, July 22nd. We're going to start with the class. Today's topic is places and things. Places and things. Okay. Before to continue and start, I would like to know if you have any questions about the platform, general, you know, any exercise, exercises that you have found difficult probably. Alguna pregunta, una duda, comentario con respecto a algún ejercicio o la plataforma en sí. Desde la verdad con la clase, para saber. Un ejercicio que nos ha dado alguna dificultad. Oh, I can see Vilma Tatiana. Hello, Vilma Tatiana. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hello, how are you? ¿Qué más? ¿Quiere ver si alguien más unido? Preguntas, dudas, todo bien. Hemos ido avanzando. Recuerden, eh, ayer les comentaba que según las indicaciones que se me dieron, verdad, ayer, en cuanto a los participantes que no, no habían iniciado, ya pues estuve comentándoles, verdad, y igual estuve eh, con algunos. Eh, ese día tienen que tener completados en la sección 2, todos. Eh, si alguien pues se le ha hecho difícil, le, le animo a, y les caso, pues le, le invito a seguir trabajando en la plataforma, modo de ir completando. Cualquier duda o pregunta, siempre eh, estamos a la orden. Eh, no duden en apoyarse pues, en, en mi persona y pues, con gusto. Con gusto eh, ¿Qué más? Bueno, ese día, recuerden, como la semana está, vamos de lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Eh, Ayer iniciamos la, la semana 2 específicamente. Eh, ese día continuamos y terminamos la semana 2 el próximo martes. El próximo martes hacemos el major. El lunes yo les voy a estar explicando, más o menos, dando una breve ¿verdad? explicación acerca de, del major. Eh, en caso alguien pues, se, han, se nos haya unido para esa ocasión, en ese módulo, y no esté familiarizado con el examen. Entonces, es que el lunes lo voy a explicar que todas las instrucciones para que ustedes vayan viendo igual las secciones de cada en el micro, ok que todo va a ser el lunes y el martes debemos de hacerlo, no se les olvide de ahí continuamos continuamos, vamos a la semana 2 este día pues terminamos la semana, el lunes a viernes ¿verdad? el lunes a jueves específicamente y mañana pues el descanso ¿verdad? y a seguir practicando y avanzando en la tarde Entonces, les, les animo, les motivo a seguir Seguir trabajando eh, como lo han hecho hasta el momento. Y obviamente la práctica es muy importante. ¿Eh? ¿Todo bien? ¿Preguntas? ¿Comentarios? ¿Todo bien? ¿No? Go on, let's go on. The topic again, places and things. Class number six, moving up. Let's begin with some vocabulary. Look at the pictures, look at the picture. Number one, this is a bank, 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 bank. Second, What's this? The place. How do we call it? How do we call the place? 
Medias. Drugstore or pharmacy. Yeah. Drugstore. Drugstore. Drugstore or so, as well as said, it's, it can be pharmacy. Pharmacy. You can say pharmacy too. Pharmacy. Drugstore. Okay, this is drugstore. 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 Number three. This. Post office. Post office. It's a post office. Post office. Listen, post office. We go again with the first one. Bank. 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 Drugstore. 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 Old office. Old office. Old office. Next. Gas station. This is a gas station. Good. This is a gas station. Gas station. Listen. Gas station. Gas station. Next. What's this? Library. Bookstore. Okay. Library. Some people say library. Some people say books. Bookstore. Books. Yeah, this is a book. Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay. Um. Yeah. Someone said library. Library. Let me ask you something. What is the difference between library and bookstore? Que uno lo vende y la otra lo presta. Yeah. They lend books and they sell books. Yeah. For example, if you go to downtown, we have Biblioteca Nacional, right? So in that library, you can ask for some books, right? You can borrow books, okay? And they lend you some books, right? But if you go to a bookstore, for example, you go to, um, I don't know, La Ceiba, so you can look for some books in there. You can buy the books. That is the difference between library and books. Very good. So here in the bookstore, you can buy the books. Your favorite books. Better. Again, listen and repeat. Bank. 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 Drugstore. 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 Old office. Old office. Old office. Gas station. Gas station. Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, this is the first vocabulary. Any questions over here? At the same time, I want to I want to welcome Jose Bismar. Hello, Jose. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I'm late. How are you, Jose? No worries. Everything okay, Jose? Hello, hello. Are you okay? Yeah, hello. Sí, 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 sí. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Let's see in the chat. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Nice, thank you. Well, this is the first thing that we have that we have seen or the, that we have done uh, so far, Jose. We are introducing some vocabulary about places. The topic for today is places and and things, what is the topic? Let's continue. And we continue here. We're introducing the vocabulary. The first one was bank, bank, drugstore, or we can say pharmacy, drugstore or pharmacy, drugstore, old office, old office, gas station, gas station, gas station. Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay. Let's go next. Uh, I'm sorry, questions here all the time. Sorry. Right. 
No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay. Open up. Next. What's this? It's a restaurant. Okay. Yeah, this is a restaurant. This is restaurant. 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 Again, restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. Next. What is this? Department and store. Okay. Very good, very good. This is a department store. Yes, department store. The, look, talking about this one, department store, listen again, department store, department store. Could you tell me some department stores in El Salvador? Simán. Yeah, Simán. Simán? Prisma Moda. Can be Prisma Moda? CRs? Yes. Yeah. CRs? Amazing. Yeah. The, the, the most common example, or the best example in this case for the department store is Simán. Yeah. Why it is called department? It is called department because, yeah, if you go to Simán, you can see different departments. And uh, we can find a department for men, we can find a department for women, we can find a department for, for children, uh, for, let's say, um, sporting goods, can be. We can find a department for, home. Case, for, for makeup, for home, yeah. Maybe. I'm sorry, repeat again. Babies. Yeah, babies, exactly. For babies. Technology. I'm sorry? Technology. Technology, exactly. Technology. Cell phones, computers, etc. That's why it's a department store. Like Siman, Sears, Pismamora, etc. Very good. Department store. Department store. Restaurant. 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 The, the, the paramen, the pool. I'm sorry? The paramen, the pool. The paramen, the pool. 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 The comida. Yeah, I got you. So in that case, is, it can be food court. Food court. Yes. Food, food court. court. Or in some cases, if you refer to a specific restaurant, it can be fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurants. In this case, we refer to Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, Pratt, Pollo Campero. But those are fast food restaurants. And we had the food court, right? Food court. If you go to shopping malls like Metro Centro, Casa Mundo, so you find food courts. But it's a public place, a public place. Very good. Let's go with another one. What's this? Supermarket. Supermarket. That's supermarket. A supermarket. Okay. Supermarket. Again, restaurant, restaurant, department store, supermarket. Let's repeat the vocabulary. Listen and repeat it for me. Bang. Bang. Bank, drugstore, drugstore, post office, post, post office, gas station, gas station, bookstore, bookstore, restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Department store, department store, supermarket, supermarket, supermarket. Okay, this is the first, the first part, right? We're having places, places, okay? Any doubts 
over here. Do you think the vocabulary is clear? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay, now let's go with things, things. And we're going to relate those things, the places, to the source, like the places specifically. Let's go to this. Where, listen to the question, where can you get these things? Where can you get these things? Let's begin with the first one. Aspirin. Where can you get these things? Or this thing specifically? Aspirin. In drugstore? In a drugstore, right? In a drugstore. Very good. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. At a drugstore. Okay. What else can you get in, in that in the drugstore? In a drugstore. What else? What else? What else? Aspirins. Nasal sprays, spray. yeah. Nasal, nasal sprays, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. 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 Yeah. Very good. Eye drops. What else? Eye drops. Alcohol help. Yeah. Very good. Muscle cream. Masks. Yes. Yeah. Face masks. Very good. Etc. Right? So you can get a lot of things in a drugs. Specifically, medicine, medicine. Really, but of course, we can get more things, right? In some places, we get uh, snacks, snacks, uh, probably drinks, etc. Very good. Second, what's this? And the supermarket. supermarket. You can buy a, a bread. Yeah. At the supermarket. Okay. Very good. At the bakery, yeah. too. At the bakery, yeah. Very good. The bakery. Very good. But this is bread, bread, bread. And as you said, you can buy bread at a supermarket. You can buy bread at a supermarket. And as someone said, very good. You can buy bread at a bakery. That is a specific place, right? Like El Rosario, La Tecleña, San Martin, etc. That is a bakery. You can buy bread at a, break, at a bakery, sorry, at a bakery. But specifically here, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Next. What is that? Book. Book, book. Is okay, you can buy a book. A book at the bookstore. Dictionary. Okay, yeah, a book or a dictionary. Okay. In this case, it's a dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. Of course, it's a book, right? It's a book. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. At a bookstore, you can buy a dictionary. At a bookstore. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you previously. What else can you get in a in a supermarket? What else can you get in a supermarket? You can buy what else? Vegetable, you can vegetables. Buy vegetables. Shampoo at supermarket. Yeah, very good. Cereal. Toy. Yes, toys. Clothes. Clothes. Drinks. Milk. Milk, yeah. Jam. Yes. Milk. Jam. Milk. Yes. Exactly. Meals. Many things, right? Many things we can buy at a supermarket. Apples. Apples, yeah. Fruit. Fruits in general, right? Apples, Fruit. bananas, oranges. Sorry? Excuse me? Repeat again. Vegetables. 
like cucumbers, uh, celery, tomatoes, potatoes. Very good. Continue with dictionary. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. What else can we buy in a bookstore, guys? What else? Besides books, right? Besides books. What else do you get? It is weird, right? It is weird if you go to a bookstore because, yeah, the first thing that you imagine is books. Books. What else? Any idea? It's been difficult, but I'm going to go to a bookstore. What else? Only books. Books. Pencils. 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 Very good. Pencils. Paint. Paints. Very good. Yeah, so we can find a school supplies. Pencils, pens, erasers, paints. Marker. Markers, yeah, markers. Very good. Pencils, pens, erasers, paints, uh, markers. Notebooks. Scissors. Scissors, very good. Etc. Yeah, so we can find those things. It's good. Cool. Yes, cool. Coloring books. I'm sorry. Coloring books. Oh, books for children. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, books. Children. No, oh, sorry. Children's book. Children's books. For example, we can have a. Fairy tales. Um, but that, that's the most the most common, right? Fairy tales. Cuentos. Cuentos. Pretty good. Amazing. Thank you. The, well, moving on, let's go to the following. Any questions, by the way? No, teacher. Thank you. Moving on. What about gasoline? Gasoline. I'm sorry. Are you, where can you get gasoline? You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Yeah, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. At a gas station. Yes. Another thing that we can find here. Oil for the car. Yeah parts for the car or in case of specific supplies for, for cars. Yeah, items for cars. Very good. Next. What was this? What's this? Restaurant. Okay. And what is the, the thing, the item? What is this? Sandwich. 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 You can buy. A sandwich at a restaurant, right? Or a supermarket. Or, or at the coffee shop. Yeah, exactly. You can buy a sandwich at a cafeteria? Yeah, at a cafeteria too. Very good. A cafeteria. Yeah, you can buy a sandwich, sandwiches at a restaurant, at a supermarket, at a cafeteria, etc. Perfect. Um, and of course, in a restaurant, you can get more things, right? More meals. Chicken, fish, steak, etc. Pretty good. What about this one? What's this? Thumbs. Thumbs. Pretty good. Thumbs. Thumbs. Times. Where can you get this? Where can you get this? Post office. Exactly. You can buy stamps. You can buy stamps at a post office. You can buy stamps or you can get stamps at a post office. Very good. 
Okay, questions here? Something that is unclear for you? Yes, teacher, clear. Thank you so much. It's okay, teacher. Very good. Continue, moving on. Let's continue with more things. What is this? You can buy a sweater at a department store. Okay. Department store. Okay. Yeah. Can be a sweater. Be a sweater. Specifically, this is a sweat shirt. Yeah, this is a sweat shirt. A sweat shirt. Sweat shirt. Okay, you can buy a sweat shirt or a sweater at the department store. What else can you buy in a department store? Oof, you can buy many things. Tell me some things that you can buy in a department store. Shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Pants. Pants. T-shirt. Yeah, pants, t-shirts. What else? What else can you buy or can you get in, in a at a department store? You can buy shoes. Yeah. A hat. A cap. Yeah. yeah, a hat. I'm sorry. This one? Jeans. Okay. Jeans. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Makeup. Yeah, makeup. T-shirt. Yeah, t-shirt. T-shirt. Toys. Toys. Yeah. Tennis. Tennis. It's a zinker. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with the last one. What is this? Money. 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 Yeah, money. Money. How do we call these um, things? For example, when you travel to another country, let's say a different country, well, you cannot, I mean, if you travel to the United States, of course, we have the same currency, right? But what happens if you travel to a, a European, European country? Let's say Spain. So how do we call them? So we exchange the money, so we buy, We call this at the bank. travelers, yeah, at the bank, very good. Travelers checks. We call them like this travelers checks. Yeah, it is money. It is money. But well, we change, we change, is we buy, we buy uh, the currency, right? The currencies. Because, yeah, we know that in, in Spain, for example, they, they have euros, right? Euros. And in our cases, we have the dollar. But if you travel to another country, you know, so you have to buy traveler's checks. So you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Yeah. Traveler's checks. Okay. Um, any questions here, guys? Everything is okay. In the chat, teacher. Oh, let me see. Sorry, yeah, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, Gloria. Yeah, for example. When you say zapaterias, you can say um, to a store, to a store. If you refer to, say the other one, pastarias is zapaterias. For example, when you say 
for the 3 you can say ice cream corn, ice cream chop. And for Sastaria, you can say Taylor, Taylor store. Those are the, I mean, the ones that you ask me right in the chat. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Ruth, listen, no problem. Thank you. Oh, sorry, you are asking me, you're asking me about more, right? No, yeah, sorry. You're asking me for, Ferreteria. Yeah, ferreteria, you can say hardware store. Hardware store. That is ferreteria. Yeah. And the other one, you say, Taller. I think, I think you're referring to Taller de Carlos, right? So you say car shop, car shop repair. That is a taller. Taller in the case of the matrix. Car shop repair. It's a pleasure. A problem. Okay. Any anybody else questions? You can ask. Me. Okay, if you don't have more questions, we're going to move on to the next part and I'm going to assign you the following exercises. Now, I need you to look at the examples, John, and you, you have to write at least five sentences about things you can buy or get in different places. Now is your turn. You have to tell me things you can buy forget in those places right, that we introduced previously. For example, you can buy fruits and vegetables at a supermarket. You can buy, so now you have to continue and you have to write five. Five examples of things that you can buy in these places. Okay, let's go. I will give you time. I will give you time for this activity. And as soon as you finish, we're going to listen to you, right? Let's go. If you have any questions, I'm here and I can give you a hand. Okay. Go ahead, continue. As soon as you finish, please raise your hands or you can just let me know in the microphone. Right? I finish. Please. Take your time, take your time. Hmm. Can the chat? Thank you, Ana Maria. Very good. Oh, listen. Um, yeah, sorry. My bad. So, this is like this. Very pressure. Yeah. Very pressure. Shop.
Thank you, William. Thanks, Jensi. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you, Jim. Uh, no, Gloria, it's the same. It's the same. You cannot translate to Rosaria. It is a proper noun in Spanish, right? This is a proper noun. It's a number proper. Los nombres propios no se no se traducen. So in this case, the same thing would be. Thank you, Walter. Anytime, buddy. No problem. Uh, let me see if somebody else join us. Um, oh, Veronica Duran, hello, hello. Veronica Milagro, welcome. Good evening, sorry. How are you, Veronica? Milagro and Veronica Duran. How are you? Fine, thanks. Amazing, thank you too. Veronica Milano? Oh, okay, okay, Veronica. That's not a problem. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Veronica. And Marina, thank you, Daniel. Uh, listen, uh, I want to ask something in this case to Veronica Durang and Veronica Milano. Uh, do you have any questions, Veronica? Durang and Milano? No, no, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. No, no thanks. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, just let me go back because I want to uh, introduce, I want to summarize what we have done so far, right? The, work, the topic for today, the main topic is places and things. We are recognizing some places, right? And then we were yeah, discussing, we were identifying some things, right? So these were the places, bank, drugstore, post office, gas station, and bookstore in this part, right? In the next slide, no more places, restaurant, department store, supermarket. Those are the places, okay? Then we were saying, where can we find, can we get, these things, for example, ice cream, the class me said, you can buy, or we can buy ice cream at a drugstore, at a drugstore, or at a pharmacy, right? At a pharmacy. Next, bread. Bread. You can buy bread at a supermarket, at a supermarket. Dictionary. Dictionary or a book, okay? By a dictionary at a bookstore. Next, gasoline. You can get or you can buy gasoline at a gas station, right? Other one, 
sandwich. You can get a sandwich, or you can buy a sandwich at a supermarket, or as you, got, as you just said, at a restaurant. At a restaurant. Next, these are stamps. Stamps. You can buy stamps at a post office. In the last one, the last ones, we have a sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Or as someone said, well, it depends, right? Because this is another one. Or someone said, a sweater. But this one's a sweatshirt. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. And the last one, traveler's checks. So you can buy traveler's checks at a bank, right? So these were the objects that we were, or the things that we were discussing, and of course the places too. In, or in now, your classmates are, or you guys, right? In general, everybody is providing sentences. And you have to say, Things you can buy or get in different places, in the places that we were discussing. My fruits and vegetables and supermarket, that was an example. And of course, now you're supposed to write five. So most of you have finished, very good. It's okay, but again, no problem. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna go with some participants. Volunteers, please raise your hands. Raise your hands. Okay, let's be let's begin with Daniel and Jeremias. Listen, what I want to do, I need you to give me three examples on the three examples. Daniel, let's go with you first. Jeremias. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay. You can repair your suite at the tailor store. You can buy a, mat a material to design uh, at a bookstore. A chicken buy a cosmetic at the department store. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for the examples. Ana Maria, please help us. Give us three examples. Uh, you can buy shoes at the department store. You can buy syrup at the drugstore. You can buy cheese at supermarket. You can Again? buy. You can buy a kissing no sé, sería food there. Can have you put to eat? You oh. can buy food at a cafe a cafeteria. Yeah. You can buy pencil at bookstore. Okay. Yes. Okay. Better for me, Ana Maria. Pencil. 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 Yeah. Pencil. Thank you, very good. Veronica Duran, let's go with you. Can you give us two examples, please? Okay, you can buy medicine at the pharmacy. You can buy clothing in the shop. You can buy shoes in the shoe store. You can ice creams in the ice cream shop. You can buy books in the library. You can buy books? In the library, library. Oh, library, library. Library. Well, in this case, let me clarify because this is something that we said at the beginning. Okay, fun. It, what is the difference between library and books? So they are two different places. Because library, that's a place uh, where people lend you books. So you get the books, yeah? But you have to return the books so you don't keep them. Okay, that is a library. For example, Biblioteca Nacional, right? In that place, you go and you ask for the book, but then you have to refund the books. But in a bookstore, you go there, you go to La Ceiba, for example, and you buy books. So those books are yours. In this case, with that one, Veronica, you have to say, I can buy books at a bookstore. Okay. That was the last one, by the way, Veronica. And you want to you want to tell us more, right? Continue. Tell us the other examples. Teacher. 
Yeah, tell me. Um, en este caso, the library aplica para biblioteca. That, that is a library. That is a library. Yeah. Ah, okay. Library, eh, no, library es una biblioteca. Y no la confrontamos con una librería, por ejemplo. Because a library is not librería. It's not librería. Okay. If you want to say librería, the price store. That is a librería. In library is biblioteca. Yeah, I tend to get confused. Confused, but it's not librería. Okay, um, that's it. Thank you, Veronica. Appreciate your participation. Let's go with William. Thank you. You yeah. can buy shoes, shirts, pants, and a belt at the department store. You can buy sandwich, salad, coffee, and bread at the restaurant. You can buy a TV in, at a supermarket. You can buy furniture at a department store. You can buy some souvenirs at a Mercado Cuartel. Mercado? Cuartel, right? Mercado Cuartel. Okay, yeah, very good, very good. Um, if you want to say Mercado, but it's okay, you can say Mercado Cuartel, no problem. If you want to, to use it like, you know, I'll say in, in English, you can say Cuartel Market, but you know, that is Spanish, right? Spanish. It, it is much better if you say Mercado Cuartel. But if you refer to Mercado, you can say Market. Market. Pretty good, right? Well, yeah, thank you. Hey, Walter, let's go with you. Okay. Um, you can buy a soda at Supermaker. Uh, you can buy a cold tablet at a drumstore. You can buy a jeans at a department store. And you can buy a smartphone at a cell phone store. And you can buy a computer at a department store. Yeah, yeah, very good. Just with one example, sorry, what's one example? Uh, when you say, uh, I can buy jeans, no jeans. Okay. No gyms, because it's plural. Gyms. Okay. All right, so. Same thing. Like that. The rest is fine. Very good. Thank you. I think the chat, Edith, you want to, to, to give us examples? And by the way, can everybody listen to me very well? Eh, no, le iba, le iba a comentar el, el ejemplo que ella decía, que podía obtener un libro en, una librería, en la librería. Oh, yeah, you can get, you can get exactly, or you, or you, or you can say, or you can say, exactly, exactly, or you can say, I can um, borrow, I can borrow books at a library, the start. Uh, of course, of course, you have to return the book, right? You have to return the books. But they, they are not yours. That sounds good in a protocol. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you, Edith, for the explanation. Appreciate it. Um, let me see. Oh, by the way, I'm preguntando si todos me escuchan bien, porque Veronica está. And then the chat can not switch again. Mentals? Yes. If you don't listen to me, if you don't listen to me, if you don't listen to me, it's because the problem is over. In my zone. If you don't listen to me, it's clear. Very good. This is probably Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, remember that I'm recording and at the end I'm going to upload the video on YouTube and you can yeah, watch it. 
can check it out again. No se preocupen, en caso que eh, tengan muchos problemas, probablemente por el clima, estoy lloviendo, etc. Eso pues tiende a, a dejarnos una, una señal bien creíble, ¿verdad? Pero, igual, yo estoy grabando, está grabando y al final pues se va a subir el video a YouTube. Y pronto se lo puede revisar, ¿verdad? pueden ver el video. Igual, si hay dudas o preguntas, pueden hacer acá sus consultas, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay, back now. Let's go with you. Thank you. Uh, you can buy so uh, at a restaurant. You can buy a juice at a juice store ad hoc. You can buy hamburger at a Wendy's restaurant. You can buy door at a hardware, hardware. Hardware store, hardware store. Hardware store. Yeah. Uh, you can buy TV at a department store technology. Hmm. Okay. It, you can say, you can say in this way, Dagna with the last one, you can buy TVs at a department store, it's okay. Just that, just like that. Or you can say, okay, sorry. If you say just the department store, it's okay. But if you want to refer to the specific place, the department, you can say at a, at a tech department. Tech department. Or another possibility can be I can buy TVs at, a, at an electronics. But those are three possibilities. Una. Department store, in general, a tech department, so that is a specific, and the other one that is a specific place for, for that, only ele ele eh, electronic devices. Solo en ese caso, pues, dispositivos electronic, perdón. And one, of, one more observation, that now, when you say, I can buy a shoe, I can buy a shoe. But remember, in this case, don't say that. In my shoes. If you want to say a ah, or a is different, you can say I can buy a pair of shoes. If this is correct, you can, I can buy shoes or I can buy a pair of shoes. It's different. This is correct. But don't say I can buy a shoe. Okay. Does it make sense? Right now? Everything good? Uh, yes, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Do we have somebody else, another participant? Okay, in the chat. Uh, by the way, me escucha Veronica Milano, me escucha bien? Sí, ahora sí escucho bien. Okay, okay, no worries. Les estaba comentando que si tienen problemas, eh, una dificultad, claro, me comentan, creo que en el chat puede estar verificando, ¿verdad? Y pues el problema, el problema persiste. Y ahora, ¿verdad? No se preocupe, al final pues se va a subir el video y le recomiendo que pues, vea la sección cabal de la clase o si no se ve toda la clase, ¿verdad? En este caso, excelente, para poder reforzar algo. Necesito que repita algo acá en la clase, con gusto. No me dice. Okay, um, I will I will go with my last participant. So I will listen to Gilma. Can you hear me, please, Gilma? <coughs> Let's go. Can you hear me? Good check.
I think she's having some issues. Any problems, Gilma? Okay. Yeah, I think she's having some issues right now. Uh, I'm going to select somebody else, no problem. Okay, Gilma, no problem, Gilma. I understand, I understand. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if you want, you can share uh, two examples in the chat, no problem. Please. Pueden compartir, si tienen problemas con el teléfono igual, pueden compartir ejemplos en el chat. Please. Okay, I'm going to select somebody else. Uh, Jocelyn, Monia, can you help us please? Can you give us examples? Okay. Um, you can boot. Fine. Aspirin. Ah, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. That's one. One more. Uh, you can buy to present at a department department store. Okay. What was the, the theme? Sorry. What was the theme? What was the object? Do you say present? Ah, sí, present. Yeah, okay. Good. Present or gifts. Very good. Um, repeat it for me. Definitely department store. Department store. Department store. Okay. Can you give us one more, Justin? One more. No más. Um, uh, you can buy flower at a florist. At a florist. Okay, we better get sorry. We better get it. You can buy flowers. Okay. At yeah. Ada? At a florist. Okay, yeah. Very good. You can buy flowers at a florist. At a florist. But again, this again, you can buy flowers. You can buy flowers. You can buy flowers. At a, at a florist. At a florist. At a flower. Yes. Very good, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you for the examples. Well, I'm going to read just the last part. I'm going to read the examples that your classmates are sharing in the chat. Um, for example, yeah, Gilma gave us one in the chat. You can buy medicine at a drugstore. Yes. Gloria said you can buy toys at a toy store. Yes. You can buy sweet bread. At a bakery, you can buy candles, I think, at a candy shop. Oh, candies, candies, candies at a candy shop. Yeah, uh, just like this, be careful. Candies, candies. And the other one, when you say soup bread, Gloria, creo que se refiere al pan dulce. Soup bread, yes? Okay. Good bread, good bread. Lori? Creo que se refiere al pan dulce. En ese caso, se dice pastry. 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 Pan dulce. Pastry. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Gloria. Very good. Only that. Pastry. Uh, Gemma, you can buy pens at a Army store, you can buy coffee and cake, a coffee shop, yeah. Edith, you can buy a hammer at a power store, yeah. You can buy a pencil, sharpener, at a bookstore. Uh, you can say, Edith, you can say a pencil, sharpener, pencil, sharpener. Yeah. But you can say pencil sharpeners in plural. Sharpeners in plural. 
but don't say a pencil champions. Only that, pretty good. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Gloria, Jima. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, this is, we're going to stop right here because it's time. I would like to know if you have any questions, guys, about, you know, places and things. Preguntas, dudas. Again, everything is clear. No? No hay preguntas. Eh, Verónica Milar, ya. Yeah. Hey, Veronica Milaro in the chat said you can, oh, yeah, Erika Yesina too, sorry. Erika Yesina said you can send letters, yeah, letters at a post office, yes. You can buy a dress at a department store, good. Excellent, Erika Yesina, thank you. Veronica Milaro said you can buy food at a restaurant, yes. Very good. Um, any questions, guys? Thank you. Thank you so much for the example. Hay preguntas, comentarios. Todo bien. Teacher. Ya yeah, José. We can say flower shop. Um, it's not common. It's not common, but you can say flowers shop. Most of the times we say flores. Flores. But you can say flower shop. Yeah, it's okay. Teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Eh, eh, ¿Por qué la, la, porque se pone at en la, en, creo en todas? Oh, okay. because, yeah, because that is the location. When we say at, we refer to the location. The location. Okay, location. In this case, it's store. Para the department store. Uh, el, el local, ¿verdad? El local. At a restaurant. At a department store. When you say in, it's because you are inside it, the place. And you are probably buying, you are, I don't know, you're doing something, etc. Okay? For example, when you say I'm eating in a restaurant. So in this case, you're inside. You are in the location, yeah, but you're inside. That's why we use at, Veronica. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Tell me. Pero realmente es sintaxis que no tengo muy claro. Tal vez usted sabe. ¿Por qué cuando yo quiero hablar de shoe store o de bookstore, shoe aparece en singular y boo también en singular? ¿Por qué no es bookstores o shoe stores? Porque es tienda de zapatos, tienda de libros. That's a good Pero, question. O, o, y, y la otra también que me llamó la atención es que shoe store aparece separado. Shoe, espacio, store. Pero bookstore aparece unido. Bueno, ya, ya acá ya, ya son, ya, ya es parte del inglés. Ya son. Oh, es, es sintaxis de ello, ¿verdad? Exacto. En algunos casos aparece, por ejemplo, bookstore aparece separado. Lo voy a ver así. Pero por lo general va, va de ese modo. Nido. Oh, bueno. Oh, bueno, shoe, bueno. Store, shoe store, por lo general se ve así, separado. Sí, sí. Y ya sí, son, sí. bueno. ya son, ya, yeah, no problem. Ok, gracias, gracias. Igual que. En ese caso se da igual con los dolores, ¿verdad? con el, el Thomas Age y el Head Age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it is united, united. They, they go together. Headache, stomachache, yes. Very good. Well, everybody, we're going to finish right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate appreciate your time, your patience, and of course, your dedication in every class. Remember that today we finished for the week. Tomorrow is free. 
we don't have classes. We will continue next week, next Monday. Please, please, everybody, keep safe. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy it. Have a good night too. Stay safe, and I'll see you next Monday, right? Next. Bye bye, guys. Blessings to you and your families. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.